I'm uh, glad you're here too. Thank you for joining us. Um, talk about your art. What is it? Well, it's, How do you explain it? It, it has evolved over the over the decades, actually, because I've been working for a very long time. I think about 60 years. And I started out more traditional and uh, much more um, uh, mainstream, if you want to say that. Um, and then uh, gradually it became a lot less objective and much more about feelings and, and uh, uh, forms and much more of a dynamic quality. Now these pieces here are new and, uh, uh, and they're sort of interlocking, which is the first time I've ever done that. And I'm not even sure why it's necessary for me to do these things. But all of a sudden, I get this idea. What wouldn't that maybe? That would be a lot of fun. Why don't I try that and see how that works out? And then I can really like it. Or sometimes that I throw it in the garbage. So we, we'll see. But um, one of the ideas that you told me about that you came up with during COVID was these well, fish. you know, that was sort of happenstance. And I was I've been doing fish off and on over the years. I say the fish pay the booth fees for shows, and um, and I just started making fish, and all of a sudden it was and absolutely was necessary. One. It's, it's, it's here, and it was absolutely necessary for the fish to have big teeth. They had to have teeth. Now, I don't understand myself why I had to do this, but um, I changed the, this is a metal back that I have, and, and if I turn it around, there were never any teeth in, in the fish. But all of a sudden, when I'm in the studio, it seemed like part of me had to say, this is such a crazy world, and things are just so out of whack. And and, uh, uh, and 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 I never actually thought about the fact that maybe the putting teeth in the fish was maybe an expression of this COVID and every every Absolutely. other part of it. And so, um, but now what I like to do is the, I like bigger fish, but I won't do a fish unless it has big teeth. Now, do, <laughs> do I understand this? Do I think that, that this is this is? Now, if you look over here, we gotta have fish here. with big teeth. Here, here, and there's, there's yep, there's, there's another one. Yeah, that's another fish with big yep. teeth. So, yep. Um, so, so Zebra, the artist with the fish with the big teeth. If you want to come down here and check out her art, basically just uh, ask about her. And we are here. Let me look at my notes and let's put up the full screen to tell you where we are. We're at Orchard Lake, south of Maple, and uh, there is parking. Uh, behind Beaumont. Of course, we're in West Bloomfield. The art fair going on today and tomorrow. Sabre, thank you so much for sharing us your beautiful art oh, and your real. fish. Thank you. And I just want to say it's a fantastic show. Patty Rosney is the director of Hot Works, and she's done a really great job. And all of us are really glad, uh, finally, finally, to be able to come out. Absolutely, and be absolutely. Out here. It was a long so, summer so. last year. We're happy that we're getting back to some sense of normal. Um, Charlie, uh, everyone else in the studio, I'll send it back to you.